I think the uh, fundamental issue is that the Eurozone needs stimulus and monetary policy can't deliver it and it will only happen therefore through fiscal policy. Now, if you look at what's happened for the Eurozone as a whole, not only hasn't it delivered prosperity to the Eurozone as a whole, it's exported some of Europe's problems to the rest of the world. So what was true before was that the current account for Europe as a whole was in balance. Germany had a surplus, the other countries had a deficit. All these policies have succeeded in eliminating the current account deficit of the periphery countries, which means Europe as a whole now has a huge current account surplus. Before the 2008 crisis, everybody in the world was criticizing China for its current account surpluses, saying that these global imbalances were going to create instability in the world. Germany or Europe's current account surpluses now are larger, both absolutely and as a percentage of GDP, than China's. So if China was a problem for global stability, Europe is now a problem for global stability. So the irony is that you haven't returned Europe to prosperity, but you are putting a threat to the global stability to the rest of the world. So now you come to the question, what about balancing the budget? You know, you can't look at one piece of economic policy in isolation. That if Europe as a whole were growing, that would be one thing. If prices and wages were rising in Germany and correcting the imbalance and effective exchange rate, that would be one thing. But right now, some form of stimulus has to be given for Europe as a whole if Europe as a whole is to grow in a robust way. And the kind of growth projections that are being given for Europe are absolutely anemic. In normal times, you would be given a, you know, a D minus for your growth. <laughs> Only the reason why people are celebrating is it's so much better than the F that you were getting before. <laughs> Thank you.